Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Getting the most out of your solutions from SWK Technologies. Follow us on social media. Today's topic, the dark web. Presented by Managed Cloud Services, our information series. My name is John Esslinger. I'm Vice President of Sales for SWK Technologies Managed Cloud Services Division, MCS for short. Let's take a quick run through of today's agenda. We're going to talk to you about what the dark web is, what you can do about it. We'll discuss a, a technique called dark web scanning. We'll talk about we, what you can do if your information is found on the dark web. How can you protect yourself, your employees, and your business. And most importantly, if you do find your information on the dark web, what do you do to avoid a recurrence? What is the dark web? Very simply, the dark web is a black market for the CD underworld of cyber criminals. It's an encrypted overlay on the internet where cyber criminals post, exchange, and sell confidential information involving businesses and individuals. This illegally obtained information is then used for various nefarious purposes, including identification theft, data breaches, and ransomware attacks. So what can you do about it? SWK Technologies recommends a proactive approach to protecting your assets. You can actually monitor the dark web for the presence of your information. We recommend an exercise called dark web scanning. We recommend you do this periodically, at least a couple times a year. Doing this will give you the information to know if any of you or your company's credentials have been leaked and are available for consumption on the dark web. Dark web scanning. Dark web scanning is a technique using special software tools whereby we can detect the presence of your company's proprietary information on the dark web. Based on your company's domain name, we can provide an extensive report for every domain and email address in your company. These reports include details such as a listing of all breaches, the types of breaches, and the dates of these breaches. This exercise will identify all compromised credentials for email accounts and various sites and services, which are the keys to various sites and services if they're still in use. Other credentials being harvested and resold will also be identified. Exposed passwords can lead to compromise of business accounts. So what can you do about it if your information is found on the dark web? First, inform the affected employee or employees. Next, Change or have them change all appropriate passwords. Address the issue. All exposed data is important, 
but the most recent breaches should be addressed immediately. And lastly, educate. Provide proper education to avoid repeating history. When breached account credentials, like email and passwords, become available on the web, they can be used to access other accounts that use the same credentials. I'm sure we all know somebody that uses the same password on all of their accounts. Change passwords on all your accounts, especially if you use the same credentials on multiple accounts or wherever else they may be used, including your own personal accounts. How can you protect yourself, your employees, and your business? <clears throat> Update your passwords on the compromised account as previously mentioned, first and foremost. Be wary of an increase in phishing emails being sent to you. If your inbox starts filling up with phishing emails, it may be a sign that your credentials have been compromised. Avoid using your business email address for non-business activities and account management. I would add that it's important that you instruct your employees not to use their business email for personal purposes as well. Change the password for all accounts where this password may have been reused as previously mentioned. Employ strong, unique passwords, or better yet, pass phrases for all of your accounts. Instruct your employees to use complexity in their passwords and to change them at a regular interval. Most importantly, how do you avoid a recurrence? First of all, don't have that I'm too small to be a target mentality, or you will be. Don't risk impact to your brand, your reputation, or your client relationships. Almost all small and medium businesses can afford basic protective measures. I talked about performing periodic dark web scans. We recommend you do this exercise a couple times a year. Perform regular vulnerability scans and penetration tests. These are security exercises that some of you may be familiar with already. It's a service whereby we use manual techniques and software tools to, to try to penetrate your network from the outside using your public facing IP addresses. These exercises help us identify exploitable vulnerabilities such as open ports and a firewall or services that may be running uh, that are unnecessary for your business. Subscribe to a simulated phishing and user awareness training to sharpen your employees' susceptibility to phishing attacks. Some of you may be familiar with this service too. We use emails that look very authentic and send them to your user base and see if they'll take the bait and click on links or attachments to these emails that they shouldn't. For those that are found guilty of clicking on too many things, we assign them small training tasks, usually in the form of a video to watch for about five to 10 minutes. And it helps them do a better job of identifying phishing emails in the future. In today's high threat environment, you may have firewalls and antivirus software and other service security services in your business, but the bad guys have learned how to use the inbox as their attack vector of choice and they're sending a lot of things to people's inbox, tempting them to click on things that they shouldn't in order to introduce malware into your network. Uh, highly important that you subscribe to simulated phishing and user awareness training if you haven't. Last but not least, 
we highly recommend that you enable multi-factor authentication, MFA for short, on all of your email and web service accounts. This type of authentication challenge requires two forms of authentication. Your users are challenged with a username and password on their login screen, and MFA sends a numeric code using the form of a text to their cell phone that they have to enter into a box on the logon screen as well, providing a second form of authentication. So we highly recommend MFA, and you might even consider single sign-on or password managers as a way of helping your employees have fewer passwords to remember. These password managers make it so that they only have one master password to remember and could put different passwords on all of their different web accounts and email. Those are the steps that will help you avoid showing up again on a dark web scan. We'd like to offer everybody attending today's video a free dark web scan. Knowing which email accounts and employee information is on the dark web will give you the insight needed to protect your company and your employees. During the assessment, we scan the web for any leaked credentials and passwords for your organization and evaluate the results with you. That's it. I'd like to thank you all for attending today's webinar. We look forward to speaking to you again in the future.